right, y'all, we're gonna have beans tomorrow. So what do we do tonight? Rinse the beans. Okay. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Now, we're going to put them over here in a pot. I use these right here, beans. I'm sure y'all have seen them at Walmart or wherever. Then we're going to put them over here. You're supposed to sort them or whatever for rocks. I mean, I'd take a look and as I'm putting in here. I've been doing this for 30 some years. I've yet to find a rock. But anyway, there it is. Okay, I'm just showing you what to do to get ready for beans tomorrow. Then you're going to cover them with a lot of water. Because those beans are going to swell up and fill up that pan overnight. Then they're going to cook nicely tomorrow. There you see. See how I got a lot of water in there. Whoa. And that's it. I'm going to set a lid on them, soak them overnight, and I'll meet up with you in the morning. Night, night. Love you. All right. Good morning, y'all. Um, the beans that we put on the soak last night, see, they've absorbed a lot of that water and they've swollen up. They're big. Let me show you. See, this pan has got probably, it's over half full now of beans. And by the way, that was like only maybe a two thirds or so of that package. Just so you know how many beans I used. Um, just wanted you to know. Now, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna drain off this water, most of it. Let me get the lid. I drain off the soaking water. Not everybody does. But that's what I do. Now, now you can really see how swollen and see how the beans got from cooking, I mean from soaking overnight. And now I'm just filling it up again with water. It's gonna cover them good. I'm going to put them on the stove and let them start cooking. i got to go to the store and get me some ham to put in it. But they can be cooking while I do that. Put plenty of water. Because, I mean, they're still going to absorb water. Water's going to cook off. And you want some water in your beans. And you probably have to add some along the way, honestly. But I like to put fresh water in and take the soaking water out. That's just me. Okay, and here we are going just to put them right over here on the stove. See? Turned on to about medium, five and a half or so out of ten, five to six. And I'm going to let them cook. And I'll go get my ham and such, and I will see you when I get back when we're seasoning. Okay, y'all. The beans came to a boil, they've been boiling. I turned the heat down. I'm gonna let them simmer to low boil. It take them, you know, a while to get tender. And you can season them after they get tender, before they get tender. I just haven't been to the store yet, but I will, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But they're still not cooked at all. See, they're still just hard. All right, but I'm just telling you, I'm turning the heat down probably to about a two or one let it simmer and low cook all right okay y'all here we are about an hour and a half in see how much <clears throat> of the liquid is getting absorbed so i am going to add a little bit more just a second You 
don't want them to cook dry. You don't want them to cook dry and then scorch on the bottom, okay? And that water will cook off, you know, simmering in, in a low boil. All right, I still haven't gone to the store. I'll show you when I season them. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and season these beans. Here's the deal. I'm gonna switch gears from beans and ham to like beans and smoked sausage, all right? Because I'm running a little fever, so I can't go to the store. So I went and got me a COVID test. I'm waiting on the results, so we'll see. But I'm putting this jalapeno cheddar in here. These Johnsonville, I'm putting four of these links chopped up and a half of an onion, okay? And that's the, gonna be the beginning of our seasonings. You can do a half onion, a whole onion, no onion, a little onion, whatever you like. Just be sure there's plenty of seasoning and plenty of liquid in your beans. Okay, now this is gonna flavor this up real good. I'll do the same thing. I'd put onions in it still, even if I had a little ham with some bone. All right, a lot of times I just buy that ham steak. You know the ham steak at the grocery store that has a little circle of bone in it and I, I chunk up the ham and then I throw that bone with a little ham on it in here if I don't have a big ham and a big ham bone. That's just one way to do it without spending a lot of money or having to fix the big, the big ham. Now, beans take a lot of salt, just like potatoes do. So don't be appalled. It's not like these are gonna taste real salty. They soak up the salt. Yes, they do. And I will season further along the way. Let me add just a little bit more water so the water will be getting the seasoning. I'll just let these keep cooking and cooking and cooking. So salt, I like pepper. I like some cumin when I'm doing these like with smoked sausage. doesn't come out in hefty doughs. It's not like I'm putting a gallon of cumin in here. But you can smell it. Yep. Chili powder. And this is not McCormick's chili powder. This is Morelos <laughs> from Moore, Oklahoma. I like some chili powder in my beans. And I like smoked paprika. Now these are suggestions. If you don't like smoked paprika, don't put in smoked paprika. If you like basic beans just with the onion flavor and salt, do that. I have always just really liked my beans with a good bit of seasoning. That's just the way I like them. Doesn't mean I don't like them the other way, or the other way is wrong. It just means that this is the way I like them. And I can barely smell that cumin, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in. And a touch more salt. And I'm gonna go off, and I'm gonna let these cook and continue cooking and let all those flavors develop, okay? That onion got by me in too big of a chunk. But you see there? Let me make sure you can see. So you got your beans and your onions and your smoked sausage. I also have some andouille sausage. I thought about putting in it, but I just wanted the spice of the jalapeno cheddar and some people use and I have used just hot links 
but oh my gosh you can make beans with about any protein that you have I have made them with leftover barbecue and then you have cowboy beans they're dadgum delicious like what you get in a barbecue restaurant so anyway I'm stuck home today for now so we just switch gears and switch from beans and ham to beans and sausage all right so y'all just I will check back with you in a little bit when it's all done all right have a good afternoon okay y'all these beans have been cooking probably four and a half five hours and this is what you end up with thick juicy beans that are tender and you stir them throughout the cooking every now and then come in and stir them and that starch helps to like thicken up this the juice on them a little bit okay just the starch from the beans does and add water as needed so that they have plenty of liquid so they don't scorch and you add more water sometimes you add more seasoning i'm gonna tell you you, you saw the seasonings i used to begin with when i'm re-seasoning I use saturies. They come out with lots of flavor, plenty of seasoning. Cornbreads just come out of the oven. And that's that, okay? It's that easy to make beans. It's so simple. It takes time, but like if you're home, it's not like something you're tied to. And then right here, Mm. I like the seasoning. They're a little spicy. That jalapeno and cheddar sausage makes them spicy. I like spice. If you don't, use some andouille or some just smoked sausage. Use ham. I mean, that's what we all use. That's what I was going to use. But I was feeling puny earlier and couldn't go to the grocery store but these beans are equally as good as ham and beans I'm gonna tell you right now they are they're just different but I season them up I tend to season them even when there's ham in there probably not so much on the heat stuff I mean the ham's not hot I do still put chili powder and paprika salt pepper not probably cumin and stuff but Beans are delicious, they're hearty, they're nutritious. Your family will love them. Served over cornbread. And I'll show you a plated up picture whenever I get them ready to eat. I hope y'all have a good evening. My COVID test was negative, so I'm a little relieved about that. And you're gonna have a good meal. You're gonna have a good meal if you make some beans like this. Tomorrow I'm gonna fry some potatoes and show you how to do that. Fried taters, beans, cornbread. That's oaky food right there. Ain't nobody gonna complain about that kind of food put on the table. If they do, you don't need them in your life. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good evening. Love you. Love you kids, Emily Chase. Love you.